Let's also talk about SEEK because uh, it's China unit seems like it's a, at least a step closer to that listing on the New York Stock Exchange. It's filed a, a registration statement. What's the view on this one? Yes, yes. We, we've been waiting for a long time. We've been talking for a long time about uh, SEEK potentially uh, having an IPO for, for Xiaopin, their, their Chinese website, number two uh, web, uh, employment website uh, over in China. And yes, you're right. They have, they have filed some documents with uh, the New York uh, Securities Exchange Commission, uh, but still uh, scant on details. We don't have uh, any sort of uh, estimation on evaluation and we don't have any sort of date. So we're, we're still playing the waiting game a little bit, but the shares have jumped today in SEEK. They're, they've uh, had a little bit of a hard time of it with these, uh, the, these premium shares coming back to the pack a little bit. And SEEK has obviously been uh, devalued a little bit on the basis of that. But uh, we, we are watching that Xiaopin IPO uh, very, very closely. Uh, a lot of excitement. Obviously, we've got Alibaba, uh, which is a big tech giant out of China going to be listing on the New York Stock Exchange as well. So a lot of, a lot of stocks emanating out of China are looking for listings in the, in the New York Stock Exchange. So one to keep an eye on. Uh, but uh, as I said, just a little bit scant on details at this stage. But shares in SEEK up by more than, well, they were up 2%, coming back around about up 1.6% at this stage. So certainly excitement uh, ahead of time for that one. Yeah,